Hi everyone, welcome to Pawpaw's Workshop. Do you ever want to know what to do with all those grocery trash bags that you get? Do you just throw them in the trash can or you recycle them for something else? Well today, I'm going to get back into the easel software and use the Bachmaker Classic and be able to make a box to hold all of those grocery plastic bags that you can recycle and use in your shop. Let me show you how I did it. To get started today with the Boxmaker Classic, I've opened a new window in Easel and I'm going to go to the apps. I'm going to highlight that and we're going to select the Boxmaker Classic. Now this one is going to take a little bit more work to be able to get it to do what we want it to do. But for this project, I'm going to make my width 12 inches. I'm going to make my height nine inches and then my depth I'm going to make four. That all is very straightforward and now down here my material thickness is 0.45. To make this work correctly the tab link becomes very, very important. At 0.75, which is default, it makes some of the tabs in the corner very, very small. So what I'm going to do is change this tab length to 1.2. That'll do two things. It'll eliminate these corner tabs being small, and it'll also help reduce the uh, cut time. So I'm going to go ahead and import that in so that we can see it better. Now with this highlighted and brought into the easel, you can take a look at the corners and they all look nice and square and they have a lot of material on it. That's what you want it to be able to look like. If I take this and I'm going to slide this one out of the way for a moment. And I want to show you one that I had done earlier. I'll bring this one over now. And then zoom in close. Oh, now then, we're going to go ahead and darken this so that we can see it. Now I want to zoom in. And you can look at these corners. And these corners will not cut very well at all. And this is important to note when using the box cutter app. Now that's the first thing. The second thing that you've got to look at, if I have this whole entire project highlighted, and I come over here to the outline, okay, it's set on the outside and that's what we need to have it cut. When it comes into easel for the first time, let's highlight this one that I just brought in. We'll click on outline and you see it's showing on path. If you cut that on path, it will not cut correctly and you will have large gaps. So the first thing we're going to do is change this to cut on the outside. This one that I had earlier that I show you how these corners are not going to cut properly. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one completely. And then I'm going to bring the one that I have back over where I can work with it some more. The next thing that you're going to notice is at this point it does not have the dog bones. Dog bones can be added simply by highlighting the entire th project, go back to the apps, we're going to scroll down, 
we're going to select the dog bone app we're using an eighth inch bit so that will work just fine now then the new one is highlighted so I'll slide that one out of the way for a moment this one I don't need any longer but I am going to just save it and bring it out of the way for the moment and we'll bring the one with the dog bones back in now this will cut just fine now I've zoomed in very close I'm going to highlight this piece and I'm going to take and slide it right over on top of the other one that it would slide into and you can see that this edge right here will be at the edge of this wood cutting so that's going to give a good fit that's what we want to be able to accomplish okay so far we've got our project where we've moved the outline to where it will cut on the outside so it will cut correctly and we've also added the dog bones the next thing that we have to deal with is the tabs and in this particular case this is going to be thicker plywood and I want to play with the tabs so I can take this tab right here and I'm going to slide it over to the outside edge and I'm going to take this one and slide it around as well that will mean I have the minimum amount of sanding to do this one is right here in the corner and I'm gonna do the same thing I want to bring it to the outer edge and same as this now that will give me four tabs around this piece they're on the outside edge so that will have the minimum sanding that will be necessary now I'm going to do the same thing for the other pieces. So we're going to go over here to this one, highlight it, and you can see where the tabs are. So what I'm going to do is the same thing. I'm going to highlight that tab, and I'm going to bring it over, and we'll put it on the outside edge right there. And I want to take this tab, get it away from the corner, and bring it onto the outside edge. Now I've got one, two, there's my fourth tab. Okay. Bring that tab right here. And I'm going to bring this tab over to the side. I'm going to repeat this process now for the rest of the work pieces. To make this project, I'm going to be using a bunch of scraps, so I'm not going to be cutting this all at one time. I'm going to set up the each part on its own work piece and be able to cut it out and use up some of these scraps. And what I did, I'm bringing the first piece that I'm going to cut and I'm going to set that up on its own area to be able to carve. The next thing I want to be able to do is label this. I want to put text in here. And we're going to carve this again in two separate carves. So I'll carve this outside and we'll carve the circle as one carve. And then the first thing I'll do is carve out the letters. So let me get the letters in there. Now I'm going to pick just an easy text to be able to do this. I'm not going to be using the V-carve today. Okay, at this point I went ahead and added the words in. So recycle trash bags. The other thing that I have done is I went over and added the additional work piece. So I set up the second work piece right here. That will cut the outline. The first work piece now what I'll do is eliminate the outline and only have recycled trash bags and that will cut first and then I'll cut the outline. 
I'm going to go ahead and get this set up and we'll get it cut out. And using up these scraps, I went ahead and kind of gave some layout lines on where the project's going to cut. And I also reestablished where my XY point is going to be to be able to cut inside of this 8 by 10 rectangle. Off camera, I went ahead and carved the recycled trash bags, but I wanted to show the actual cutting of the outside of the box. Now, in my haste to be able to cut this and use the materials for the sizes that I had, I inadvertently left off the dog bones. So it did require a little bit of extra sanding that you can see, but the fit actually for the tabs worked quite well. And I've got several shots showing that. The other thing that I did is look at the corners, and the corners fit quite nicely also. I did mix a little sawdust and glue to fill in. I like the Box Maker Classy app. It does take a little bit more work to do, but all in all, I think it works quite nicely, and I'm proud of the project. Hi, everyone. Thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also, check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.